Good morning. Today is the 29th of uh, November 2022. I am still recovering from a couple of days ago. Jesus. I'm just not doing so well. And originally I was going to give you a bit of a health update on my health. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, a topic which I thought I had finished talking about a couple of days ago has come to me back into the, um, uh, on my mind, infuriating me, pissing me off. I had, what set it off is I, w I had heard from uh, an interview from the father of the murderer of the uh, Colorado um, nightclub killing. And his reaction to finding out that his son, I guess at the time they, they told him his son was in a gay bar and that is what set him off. My son in a gay bar? Yikes, like he was so freaked out until they found out that, uh, sorry, until he found out or was informed that no, well, yes, he was there, but he was actually there uh, to do the killing. He was the one responsible for five deaths. Sorry, uh, you know, what do you feel about it? His reaction was, as long as he's not gay, phew, we don't do gay in his um, world. <laughs> fuck you, sorry, I, I'm, I'm not really one for swearing, but fuck you. I mean, really, like that is what you're, <laughs> that's what matters to you? That's what matters to you. The, the fact that he killed five people and his supporters, that he has supporters is bizarre to me. It, it's like, well, why aren't we talking about the fact that these sinners are now in hell and they brought it on themselves? Fuck you. I'm sorry. I, yeah, th this one has really um, affected me. Um, and the other side, that, another reason why it's affected me is I had a conversation with someone just yesterday about this outrageous commentary by the father really irritated me and I was talking to someone who hadn't even heard of this event yes he was completely once he was informed um, he he was as outraged as me although not as vocal as me of course he doesn't have a channel to uh, bang on about it if banging on about it is what I'm doing all I'm doing is unloading right now because I am so irritated. I can't believe that this is still, like I said in my last time I thought, last time I covered this and I really thought, I really thought more people would share my outrage. I really did uh, because this is just sick. It's sick that these people, his supporters, That his supporters are more interested in the spirituality of the victims and that they brought this on themselves. I'm sorry, one last time, but fuck you. I'm... Yes, I know this isn't for kids. And I'm not really one for cursing on my uh, channel. I'm really not. And I apologize for any sensitivities. But... I am so infuriated. I, I almost wish I was healthier to express it in, in more civilized terms my outrage at what's going on. Not just that it's a blip in modern society. Some people probably heard of it, some people haven't. But that this this guy who I was talking to, he heard about the the uh, slasher. Remember a couple of years ago, there was some maniac in London walking around with a knife and slashing people and stuff. Oh, he heard about that one. He told me all about it. 
I think there was, what, two people dead in that one? It was another outrageous event, absolutely, but I hadn't heard of it. And he knew about it and gave me the lowdown and all that. But he hadn't heard of this one. Is it the gay angle? I don't know. Is it that he's got a busy life? He does. I'll give him that. Like, and, I, and I know him. I know that. And he is as outraged as me, just not as outraged as me. <sighs> I can't believe that, that this father... Well, I can believe that this father raised this monster. Absolutely. If, if you were to have seen the uh, video that I've seen, you would not be at all surprised that his son did this. You can see it from the father. It passed from the father, this absolute... Not even anger, disgust. Um, this philosophy of, well, they brought it on themselves. No, they didn't bring it on themselves. They didn't do anything to you. They were letting you do your weekly, maybe even bi-weekly sermons. They were letting you spew whatever hate you wanted to spew during your gatherings. And he, these, they did not bring this on themselves. You brought your hatred, you brought your sickness into an environment which you were not welcome, but you were welcome. That's the other side of it too. They let you into their fold. They opened the doors to you. They let you, not knowing, of course, the, the, the hatred in your heart, the sickness of your soul. I'm sorry, but if you really want to not mince words, you don't, thou shalt not kill, it stands for you to you murdering monster jesus i'm sorry I, I can't imagine anyone's going to watch this and that's fine uh as far as i'm concerned i really did have something else that I, it was more important for not important there's nothing more important than this i'm sorry but, but hatred needs to be called out sickness needs to be exposed Supporters of sickness, supporters of violence, supporters of hatred need to be called out. I'm sorry, that, that's, that's just me. Uh, it, it, it's outrageous that this guy even has supporters and that there are people in this world who blame the victims. Sorry, when... The person who took down the, the shooter, okay, there was a drag show apparently on at the club that night. This guy went with his family and his children, I don't know how young these kids are, to the drag show. It, it, I am assuming that he was there with his wife and his kids, and it was he obviously had no uh, prejudice in his persona, his personality. Maybe he was exposing his kids to, hey, you know, some people have different quirks. Some people are having fun the way they have fun. I don't know the, the backstory. He was apparently a Marine or an ex-Marine. He's a military guy. He took down the shooter like that. Apparently, if it wasn't for him, there would be a lot more than five people that were killed. He took them down. The same people who are supporting the monster because they brought this on themselves and this monster was only doing God's work, apparently, are now turning on him, or turning on to this closeted Marine. What, is he a pedophile? What's he doing to his kids? Why were his kids here? His kids were there to watch a show which is maybe different than what you would consider entertainment. But maybe he was open enough to say, look at my kids, I'm bringing them up without prejudice. End of story. I'm sorry. Um, this I, I probably shouldn't post this. Knowing me, <laughs> I've already spent nine minutes doing this. I'm going to post it and call it a day. I'm sorry for my uh, mood today. It's just I've been better. And I will be better. <laughs> But right now, maybe I just needed to get it out. It's out.
that's what's going on behind the patch this morning, guys. I will talk to you guys later. I hope you have a good day. Better than mine.